The Lord spoke to me that 2019 is a year of glory. He said that all flesh shall see God's glory in your life in 2019. Can somebody celebrate God here? I said celebrate him. He said 2019 is a year of glory. It's 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 a year of glory. I release it to you. It's your year of glory. 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 And Isaiah chapter 40 verse 5 and he says that all flesh shall see what he God shall do for you. And the Lord spoke to me again that all the children of God should be favorite in prayers. All the children of God should be favorite in prayers. Say because there will be a lot of challenges in 2019. There will be a lot of challenges in 2019. He said we should pray that we should cry to God. He said, but for they that trust in him shall surely be blessed. He said, their glory shall be seen by all flesh. And when this voice continued speaking to my hearing, he said, we should pray in 2019 against death of underage. And when I asked the voice why, he said to me, that in 2019, that death that shall spray shall be death of the underage. He said we should pray and cancel premature death, death of the underage. I prophesy to every soul hearing the sound of my voice. You and your family shall not partake in every premature death, in any premature death. Come 2019 in the name of Jesus. Nobody shall die in your family. Nobody shall die in your family. Amen. Suddenly, as he was talking to me, the flag of Nigeria appeared before me. And I saw a lot of men and women stood and they were mourning. And I asked God, why do you show me this? He said to me that Nigeria should pray because in 2019 that they will lose one of the former head of states. We are going to pray and we need to put A man in prayer. And this man is from the north. And a former head of state. I saw where he died. And Nigeria were mourning. The Lord said we should pray. So the Lord will take away whatsoever that shall cost money in this nation, Nigeria. I prophesy and I pray that God shall take away tears in this country in the name of Jesus. Amen. Concerning 2019 election, a lot of people have been chattering, a lot of people are afraid. But thus says the Lord, after the election, there shall be calm and there shall be peace. Amen. A lot are gentlemen. He said, but after 2019, there shall be peace and there shall be calm. Amen. After 2019 election. He said, we should no longer worry that the finger of God shall arose. That there shall be cleansing. That he, God, has had the cry of Nigeria. There's a prophecy I gave concerning the election. That somebody that walked to this, it's not who I saw seated. 
I will make reference on that prophecy for you to understand the meaning. Because I discovered that even some people that called me don't even, don't even understand what I was talking about. But the Lord who has started showing us all these things hmm, shall continue to uphold us in Jesus' name. Amen. And I heard a voice of the Lord speak to me. There will be a challenge, the word we refer as a climate change. And when this thing shall start, it shall touch a lot of parts of the world. And it shall become a very serious issue and making news round. The world leaders, Christian leaders should pray that whatsoever that shall affect God's people shall not be. But whatever that shall make God's people rejoice, let it be. And the Lord spoke to me in 2019 that the flood that shall come is will be more bigger. I saw tears. I saw people running out of scatter. The Lord spoke to me about this, I think, in 2016. No, 2017. Sorry, 2017. And this thing is repeating again now. So that you and your family will not be part of the flood that will make people to cry. And he said to me, hear me clearly and loud. I hear something now. We should pray against death during childbirth. It's going to be on a high population. We're going to pray against when pregnant women are pregnant and they want to deliver. It will look like the report of death during delivery is on a high side. May the Lord take away every negative prophecy in 2019 on our behalf. Amen. Say a better amen, church. Amen. And the Lord said to me, For they that trust in him, that he God shall uphold them, and that we should be faithful in running the race of the kingdom. Because that the warning has been coming, that he might come at any time. But be you faithful to him, that he God shall uphold us, and the Lord shall make us rejoice at the end of every race. And I heard it very loud and clear to me that the hand of the Lord that remain upon them that are faithful. Thus says the Lord. Can we celebrate Jesus here?